Hello, this is Linda from Linda Hardwick Designs. I'm here with part five for the photo mantle clock kit. Um, I got cut off the last, uh, last video, so I'm going to continue where I left off. Now, what I said was to um, take your half inch piece of, um, piece of score tape about, oh, I don't know, half an inch or so. And you're going to take this piece here and you're going to cover the hole underneath, from underneath. Okay, kind of got that ready. And then we're just, yeah, you should put it in further, but Anyway, this is just for the sake of the video to show you how to do it. And then you take the covering, the protective covering off of that. And then you're going to thread your uh, brad through here, through the hole that is made for the brad. And you go through and you just thread it through that hole. Punch it through there. And then you open up the legs. It's kind of hard not. And there you go. You'll feel it sticks so it won't move around. Now, what I've also done is I've taken the, um, the clock movement and I have glued it in there. And you should leave it overnight to dry with the battery side down. You're pushing it all the way through the front. And what I've done, well, what's included in these kits, like, okay, back to where I started here. And you let it dry overnight, okay? And then you're finished, so let's say we've passed the whole night. And now what we're doing is we're adding the clock movement hands. And, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, I do have a video out for um, um, assembling and installing um, clock movement uh, on my uh, Linda Hardwick Designs channel. You can find it there, so I won't waste time doing that right now. And then with this kit, you will receive four corners, um, and I they're, they're a brass color kind of an antique brass color and I've spray painted mine here and I've adhered them. I've spray painted them in a nice bright gold to match the hands. I've also spray painted the hands. Um, and I've also, there's also these two pieces that are included and I've spray painted those and just those two are included. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that are included. Uh, plus the the clock movement and the hands. So this is what I've done. And then I've just adhered these. And then I've just added bling, which isn't included. But uh, it's pretty easy to find this, these pearls. And uh, I've added two pearls here. So that's the clock finished. Um, and then what you could do is just slide your photos in there. Um, from the top on either side. You see, and that's your finished clock, your finished piece. That's at the back. There it is here. And if you need to get in there, you just add your battery in there. And I usually, you know, uh, put some kind of a uh, design, or not design, but um, created for you by so whoever you are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed making this kit. It's fairly simple to put together. Uh, and uh, this is like part five. So there are five short videos, all under 20 minutes. So anyway, um, oh, and I also put beads here at the hour hands. And this um, fake clock face is not going to be the same as the one that um, I'm including in the kit because I'm 
in the process of making the die right now. Uh, this belongs to um, Marianne Creatables that I've used there. So um, her clockworks uh, die. But um, anyway, I will include the clock face in a light color so you can ink it or, you know, sponge it or do whatever you want to match. It'll be a light color. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and making this uh, clock. And I have several more clocks. Um, just uh, uh, ask your uh, local scrapbooking store. Um, and I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.